Zack Snyder is the reason for DC's downfall. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Zack Snyder. Why did he have to take these one-dimensional characters and give them arcs, make them relatable? Why would we want to relate to the heroes that we look up to? I don't care about how and why Superman is hopeful, and I don't care about Snyder showing us why having a symbol of hope is so important in the world we have today. I don't want to see why Batman shouldn't kill, I just want Batman to not kill. I don't want to see an arc of him redeeming himself and becoming the best version of himself. I just want to see the one-dimensional character from the comics put on the big screen. Is that too much to ask? For a visionary like Snyder, yes it is. Snyder beautifully told a story about Superman trying to find his place in a world that doesn't want him, and him slowly becoming a symbol of hope by the end of Justice League, him having to die in order to become that symbol of hope in a world that does not want him, Batman becoming the best version of himself by facing his demons, by bringing Batman to a level that we've never seen him before, doing the one thing that he swore never to do because it's why he began his quest to become Batman in the first place. Man, the DCU has given me more turmoil than fucking Kanye West's therapist, but here we go. This is coming from Deadline. Will there be a complete reboot of DC's core cast? One studio insider tells us at no point was there any pre preconceived notions of not continuing with these actors. It all boils down to how The Flash and Aquaman do at the box office. Not to mention the studio doesn't want G Godot, got Godot to hang up Wonder Woman belt or Wonder Woman's belt. So at least there is a sliver of an ass crack that the Snyderverse cast will remain. Uh, uh, cool, <laughs> I guess. I don't even know anymore, bro. I'm so traumatized by all this bullshit. And speaking of being traumatized, yup. The Batman Beyond film was a solution to the Batman problem for the DCU. This would have allowed the DCU to have a Batman and keeping Reeves' universe separate. So there was going to be a Batman Beyond written by Christina Hodgson. But at this point, bro, it's, it's fucking 25 years too late. I don't care. I'm tired of Michael Keaton. I'm done with Michael Keaton. I love Michael Keaton as Batman. I love Batman Returns, but I'm over it. He's done. He's old. It's over. If you would have done a Batman Beyond movie like fucking 15 years ago like you were supposed to do like fans have been begging and begging and begging then yes i would have been heartbroken but but seeing this news i'm like okay whatever throw in the fucking trash can oh, that yes people are thinking really oh, that oh you, are you me. serious yeah. and in news that'll make a nun get wet apparently ben affleck puffs a cigarette while he heads to Warner Brothers Studios in LA and of course you know all the hardcore Batman fans like oh my god what does this mean is Ben Affleck gonna come back I mean I don't think so I don't know I mean this could literally mean anything he could be back from Warner Brothers for another project which I always said like for Ben Affleck Warner Brothers always saw Ben Affleck as their golden boy because he he directed and produced you know films like Argo Gone Baby Gone and stuff like that The Town which is a great movie so it it, it does make sense for Ben Affleck to come back and work for Warner Brothers like I said um before I think Zack Snyder will come back over time for Warner Brothers to work on a project now whether it's a DC project probably not but something else you know that, that Zack Snyder wants to do uh, for an original IP a la Netflix I do see that happening just like I see Christopher Nolan coming back to to work for Warner Brothers on another project but for right now like I said before um thank you Zack Snyder for giving us a trilogy that we could be proud of and whether it's a hard reboot a soft reboot at the end of the day, we all know it's a reboot and they, they are going to course correct and hopefully keep these actors that we all love because, at the, because the actors were never the problem. Say what you want about Zack Snyder and his storytelling and his interpretation of these characters. Nobody had a problem with the actors. The, the problem always came down to this is too dark. This is too controversial. I don't like Zack Snyder. I don't like Zack Snyder's interpretation. And even though we, the community, loved what Zack Snyder did, the problem was the general masses did not. And that's, that, that's what it always came down to. The, the general population did not like Zack Snyder's interpretation of these characters. Of these characters. So that's why James and Peter Severin is like, okay, what works and what doesn't work? What works is the cast. What doesn't work? Zack Snyder's story. Okay, so let's keep the cast and let's course correct and tell a new story that would fit into our DCU. 
or they're going to completely do a hard reboot and this is all for nothing and the cast is going to change and they're going to, you know, proceed with their DC direction. I don't even know anymore, bro. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. I hope they bring back the cast. I hope that, you know, we get a Man City 2 with Henry Cavill, please, because Henry Cavill is the GOAT and we'll see what happens. Maybe it all leads down to a, to a kingdom come. Uh, that would be very interesting, but we just have to wait and see hit like subscribe follow me with all that bullshit and uh, Yeah, next year we should know what James Gunn's plans are and hopefully it's something that we can all agree with so love you all stay safe Mwah! Truth out uh, <sighs> Put something on it I sell ice in the winter, I sell fire in hell I am a hustler baby, I sell water to a well I was born to get cake, move on and switch states Cow